The CDC just changed its guidelines on quarantine from 14 days down to seven. How does something so drastic happen in a course of eight months? So the, there are good reasons for that. It turns out that um, by day seven or eight when you have antibodies, the amount of virus that you're shedding from your upper respiratory tract is dramatically reduced in people that have antibodies or some level of immunity. And in tracking studies in uh, Singapore, which had one of the best, you know, they have a smaller population, they're able to evaluate it better. They had extensive tracking. They were able to show that <clears throat> the number of people that were infected after day seven to 10 from somebody that had suffered the uh, virus was extremely low and probably unwarranted. And so I think it's a recognition of what we already knew. And, um, and again, I, I would stress that the virus, I don't want to minimize the danger of the virus to people who are susceptible to it, who have com comorbidities. But if you look at it relative to, say, measles, it's not as infective as measles is. So, and, and one way to explain that is if, if I have COVID-19 and I go into a room with people who don't have it and we spend a couple hours together, maybe two and a half to three people would get it. But if I have measles and I'm active and I go in there, about 18 people will get it. There's a big difference there. But measles, we have vaccines for, and, and, uh, and you know, we've kind of gotten a handle on that. So, but I, again, I don't want to minimize that we want you to go out and goof off. I'm just saying we have to look at the data as it relates to the virus and not rely on media scare tactics on this. You know, you have to look at the data.